Hey there. Have you ever had the need to add a custom look to an HTML radio button? It's really a bummer that this day and age, we still don't have proper cross-browser styling capabilities for radio input types. But I guess that's just the world we're living in. Luckily, there are ways that we can do it. In this video, I'm going to show you my current favorite method. Okay, so we're probably all familiar with the default style for a radio button. They look like this. Now this is in Google Chrome, but each browser has its own look, so it may look a little different for you. And what if you want to style them to look like this? Can we do this? Well, yes. <laughs> so this may be a little funny, but to start, we're actually going to hide the radio button. We can't style it how we want it, so let's just take it out of the equation. But we can't just straight up hide it with display none, because from an accessibility standpoint, this could make it unusable for some. So instead, we'll use this set of styles, which is a widely recommended method for accessibly visually hiding content. There, no more radio buttons. Problem solved, right? Of course not. Now what we're gonna do is style a before pseudo element to actually look and function like a radio button. To do this, let's set our label to display inline flex. And we'll want our radio button to be aligned vertically centered with our label text, so let's add a line item center. And now let's add our radio buttons. First, we add the before. We'll need an empty content rule so that it will actually render once styled, and we'll need to set display to block. Then let's give it a height and width of 1.25m. Now let's give it a border so we can see it. And let's set border radius to 50% so that it will become a circle. There, okay, let's give it a little margin to space it away from the label. Okay, now it's starting to look like something. Um, when we click these, we can see that nothing happens. Well, this is because we need to style the label when the radio is checked. To do this, we'll use the checked pseudo class with the adjacent sibling selector and our label. Now to create the dot, we'll use a radial gradient. Here we're creating a 0.75M circle in the center. It will be black and then we'll want it to be transparent. Now what I've found is that if we make these two colors meet up exactly, the edge will be a little rough. It's probably pretty difficult to see, but what I've found is that if I give it about a 5% difference, this edge will actually smooth out, almost like anti-aliasing. There, now we have some functioning radio buttons again. And we can make this a little bit better by adding some transitions as we interact. There, this is working great. And one last thing, we need to handle the focus state so that we'll know when the radio button is focused. In this case, we'll use the focus pseudo class, the adjacent sibling selector, and our label. There, now when we tab to the radio button list, we can see that it's actually focused. And then we can use the space bar to activate it. Cool, and this should look great in all major browsers too. All right, so there you go. That's my current favorite method for styling HTML radio buttons. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave a comment below. Also, the link to the demo can be found in the description below as well too. Thanks for watching.